So you have a Li and Li O11 dynamic case and you want to add a distribution plate but don't want to break the bank? What if I told you you can buy one for less than $100? Let's check it out. The Li and Li O11 dynamic distribution plate from Barrow costs around 70 euros or $82 plus shipping and optionally it can be bought together with this compatible pump for 40 euros or $50 bringing the total amount to 110 euros or $132 plus shipping. For reference, uh, when we look at the EK distribution block wet pump that would cost you around 235 euros or $283 plus shipping which is more than double what I pay for at Barrow. Um, the, uh, the distribution uh, plate itself is packaged pretty solid uh, but comes with no information and uh, little to no accessories, uh, only the bare minimum, the six screws and six washers to mount the plate. Um, some additional information is that uh, this product is specifically designed for the Li and Li O11 case, not the XL one. Um, I am pretty confident it would be compatible with the XL one. but don't pin me on that, uh, you have to do your own uh, investigation. Um, as far as motherboard compatibility, which is an important one and we'll come back later on this topic, in the description you will find a list. Uh, for example, my motherboard is listed as not compatible and I uh, had to do some little modifications to get it to work. Um, this distribution block is designed for only one GPU when you're built, so uh, no SLI uh, GPUs. Um, is made of acrylic and uh, is able to fit in the uh, the case with double uh, 360 millimeter radiators. In my case, I only used one 360 millimeter uh, because it otherwise would be overkill. Um, one slight concern I had with this distribution block is the lighting system. Uh, it uses some kind of proprietary plug that looks like uh, a motherboard fan plug. Uh, first of all, please don't plug this, uh, this one in, into your motherboard. You will kill the LEDs inside the distribution block. Um, you have two options for uh, lighting. Either you buy their uh, specific controller, which I did, which converts it to a SATA one, and you can then manually um, use that uh, controller to select your preferred lighting options uh, but I also found out and we'll come back to later on this that you can modify slightly modify this plug to make it work with an adapter so you can use uh, a 5 volt addressable RGB uh, pin to plug it into your motherboard. Uh, lastly, um, you will need to buy two additional plugs uh, for this distribution plug, one at the bottom of the main reservoir shown here and one at the top where, where you use uh, that port for filling. Um, links also in the description for those plugs. So now let's take a look at the pump, which is compatible with the distribution plate. Uh, this is a 17 watt PWM pump and is not necessary to uh, buy with the distribution plate. Uh, although it's compatible, uh, the hole where you mount the pump is uh, threaded, so you could use uh, a fitting and mount your, all, your own pump there. Uh, it comes in two different colors, the black and the silver one. I bought the silver one. Um, it has a couple of different uh, connectors. Um, the first one is uh, a PW PWM uh, motherboard connector to regulate the pump speed. The second one is like the distribution plate, uh, a proprietary connector um, for lighting, uh, where again you could buy the um, the controller for it or you could slightly modify it with an adapter to um, make it an ARGB 5 volt uh, plug for your motherboard. Um, the third plug is the, uh, a Molex connector for power and lastly uh, there's a manual connector uh, for uh, speed. Um, but you could also turn it um, counterclockwise for PWM mode so you could use um, uh, your motherboard to regulate the speed of your pump. 
Um, Noise-wise, um, I actually don't really have a test for you. You're gonna have to believe uh, what I'm saying here. Um, I have my fans running ar uh, at around 50%, six fans, so it's actually pretty loud. Um, but I, I can't hear the pump. Um, and even so, um, the pump is PWM, so you could regulate it if it's too noisy for you. So for the assembly of the pump itself, um, sadly enough in the package there is like little to no information on how to assemble this. Same goes for the website where I bought it from, AliExpress. Um, so I had to assemble it based on the images I have found on the website. Um, to start off you take the pump uh, and place the white o-ring on top of it and to top it off you take the cover the acrylic top, uh, cover with the LEDs uh, and turn it all around and place it again on the table. With the motor facing towards you, you can place the heatsink uh, on the motor. This will help um, dissipate a part of the heat produced by the pump itself. With it, you can take the accessory back in which you will find four screws, four washers, uh, a tiny o-ring and an allen key to tighten it all together. Firstly, you take uh, each one of the screws and place uh, a washer on top of it. With the washers on the screws, you can place one of the screws of each one of the screws in uh, each corner of the pump. With it all put together, you can uh, take your distribution plate and use the tiny o-ring and place it securely inside of the distribution plate. With the o-ring securely installed, you can uh, take your whole pump assembly and place it carefully on top of the distribution plate. Be careful that you won't scratch the uh, acrylic uh, distribution plate. It's pretty scratch resistant, but nevertheless, be very careful with it. With it placed on top, uh, you can use the Allen key to slowly but surely screw it in uh, in a cross uh, pattern. Um, the distribution block, it's a distribution plate itself, is threaded, so no uh, nuts are needed to um, secure the screws. And with it all together, you have one nice assembly uh, of your distribution plate and your pump ready to be installed in your Lee and Lee 011. Uh, case. So the installation of the distribution plate and the pump was actually quite easy uh, inside the case. Um, I don't have any footage of it, but it's like pretty easy. You have like you place it in, six screws in the back, uh, use the washers, that's it. Um, what I knew uh, before I bought it was that my motherboard wasn't compatible with the, the list on the site. So I knew there were, were going to be some problems with my um, CPU water block. And this was actually quite easy to solve with the, the right fittings. Like see here, um, I had like these uh, two time 45 uh, fittings. So these are fittings that like uh, are 45 degrees each and can rotate uh, in between. So when I place these on the CPU block itself, I could easily adjust the correct position to line it up with the distribution plate So let's talk RGB. Um, so for both the pump and uh, the distro plate, they come with this proprietary connector as mentioned before. And to make the boat work, you have to buy like uh, two separate controllers um, from uh, the website to make them work. The controls itself aren't that expensive, they're like one or two euros or dollars, I, I don't know, they're right? pretty cheap and also pretty basic. Uh, they're like Molex connectors and on the other side you have like the control itself with uh, uh, three pins and you have like a couple of modes and you can change the speed of those modes. Uh, installed worked fine. Um, but after a couple of days I noticed I wasn't quite happy with them and the reason was simple. When I wanted to change my uh, RGB pattern of my uh, PC I wanted to change it all together and I had 
didn't want to have each time have to uh, pop up my back panel uh, and manually change it every time for both the pump and the distro blade separately. So I decided to, to read out the, the pins of the header itself and I noticed something quite peculiar. Um, the three pins are actually the same pins as um, an, an, a regular ARGB header. So it's a ground, data and 5 volt in that order. So it would actually be quite easy to modify. And uh, as it would happen, I checked my motherboard box and I had like this other weird adapter in it that would like fit perfectly. Uh, it has like uh, a three pin header on the, uh, the one side and this proprietary connector on the other side. Uh, one tiny problem I uh, had was that there was on the top these two uh, tiny tabs that I had to like shave off with um, a pocket knife. But when I shaved it off, connected the two uh, and plugged it in, it worked perfectly fine. I could uh, finally uh, adjust my uh, patterns in uh, the software. Be very careful when you do this. Um, if you would connect it uh, the other way around, you would just fry your LED strip inside your uh, distribution plate or pump uh, and would completely destroy it. it. It won't work, I guarantee you. Um, for those who want to know um, where to buy these, I also have a link in the description. I found some on AliExpress, uh, but you could uh, make these uh, also yourself if you wanted and if you're uh, handy enough. So, conclusion time. After buying distribution plate and a pump for like 110 euros or 132 dollars uh, plus shipping, it's absolutely a steal compared to EK. Um, quality is very solid. Uh, I have been running this for like four to six weeks now in my main rig um, and I'm so happy with this. Um, of course, I'll make an update in the future uh, about this distribution and pump uh, to see how they hold up but I expect I won't have any problems with them. And as always, I have linked everything in the description below. Please check them out. And I'll see you guys later.